What's up guys, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. Now if you haven't already seen the video where I built this key and lock, definitely check that out, there's going to be a link in the description. But in that video I challenged you guys to see if you can actually pick this lock without a key. So today we're going to be checking out the things that you guys made that can open a lock without a key, let's see. Like I was thinking to myself, it should be possible, but uh, even I don't really know how to go about it. Like in the previous video, you might have seen that I tried a, a wave rake tool, and that's really just a lot of luck. You just gotta like jam it in there and jiggle it around until you get lucky with the pins. But let's check out. First one that we're gonna be checking out today is Yorit 200 Lock Picking Attorney. So you can see it's the exact same lock as before. Something's going on with the key. I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that, right? You're not supposed to be going up like that, or are you? What am I doing? Well, let me see the instructions for this. Got it, got it. You just press number three to push the key inwards. So this is already exposing a flaw in the design of the lock that I built, where there's actually room in between the pins to stick a sensor to measure where the pins are supposed to go. And I think that's it, right? There you go. And then number one was to turn the key. Got it. Look at that. Would you look at that? And then you got to do, um, yeah, just take all the pins down and remove the key. Remove, remove, remove the key. So this key is actually more of a measuring tool than anything else. So that was Jora 200's lock pick. I think it was a fantastic way to pick the lock. Much better than the uh, rake tool that I showed in the previous video. And how cool would it be if you can actually stick a key in that measures the pins in a lock? Can you actually do that? That's pretty much what a lock picker is doing one by one. But Jorit built it with sensors in Scrap Mechanic. That's pretty cool. They managed to open my lock without a key. Rather, they built their own custom key so that it transforms into the correct key to open the lock. I think that's super cool. What a lock picking method that is, huh? Like you just have a key that transforms into the master key of every lock you stick it in. That That is pretty incredible. Great use of sensors to find out the correct combination. The next one we got from Game Tech Live. Doesn't actually come with a description. Uh-oh, I hope they're easy to use. Uh, but here we got Durf's Locks Bypass, and they put both of the locks in the same blueprint. So we got the analog and the digital over there. Let's see how they picked both of the locks. All right, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this. I'm kind of, you know what, we'll separate them just for uh, convenience over here. All right, so here the analog, analog lock. Seems like it has a lot of pistons ready to push up. What's going on with them, huh? What's going on with them? They're all just on a switch? Does that, wait, does that actually work? There's no, there's no instructions. No instructions, it just says both locks bypassed. Press four. Okay, all of the pins just sort of lift up. They're probably on the weakest power. Okay, 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 so if I stick in the key, push number four. Does that actually work? No. Yeah, okay, okay, I think I see what this is. So it's kind of like a wave rake tool, except it's like putting constant force on the pins. So if I'm constantly trying to turn the key, and then I spam, there you go, spam number four, then all of a sudden I get lucky with the pins and it opens up. So that's a super easy way to actually do it. Woohoo! Works real smooth, real smooth. Again, if you could have a transforming key in the real world. Oh, that would be so cool. Great job, Game Tech Live. You uh, successfully picked the lock. We got plenty of uh, lock picking attorneys in here. Now let's check out the other half of the blueprint. This is Game Tech's attempt at picking the digital lock. So down here for the digital lock, as you can see, there's no pins, but it's all digital. We're just checking the distance measured by the key. So there's no pins on this key, it's actually a blank key. We have this bar in the front that's uh, just to help the sensors on the inside detect that a key is actually inside, even though there's no teeth on the key. And this spud gun down here, oh my gosh, my digital lock has a huge oversight where I actually put the reset switch, the reset button, right down here where the key has perfect access to. So, <laughs> huge mistake on my part for designing this lock. This, lo this digital lock is actually super easy to pick because of how accessible this button is. But let's just go ahead and show you how it works. So, when you put the key in, when you put the key in, there you go. When you put the key in, you can see that the digital lock combination is not correct, but the spud gun actually moves into place for the reset switch. So, all you gotta do is just press number four, and you instantly write in a new valid key ready to go for the digital lock. So this is actually super interesting because it doesn't matter what key you actually have, uh, you can actually put anything on this key and still write it in. This is actually a key that rewrites the digital lock. Way better than a master key, 
This is like a universal key that uh, can change any digital lock to fit with that new key. Because of the spud gun that's in there, that rewrites... It's so... It's such an oversight. It's such an oversight. Like, one of the silliest parts about it is that all I could have done was just put the button back here, and then it would have made it impossible to pick the lock, right? Or if I just put it, like, sneak it in right in here, there's no way. Like, I, like there. imagine if a master reset switch was, like, inside the lock. Lock pickers wouldn't even bother touching the pins. They just touch the master reset switch. It's so ridiculous. It's such a massive oversight. I can't believe I put the button in there. But hey, I had a lot of fun building these locks. And I hope that you guys had a lot of fun picking the locks too. It, I mean, it definitely... It <laughs> uh, it, maybe it was a puzzle that was a little bit too easy, huh? Alright, we got one more to show you. And this is the digital lock picked by Commentator 2.0. So far, it looks like it's the exact same thing. It's a blank key with a spud gun. They actually removed most of the key because they don't need it. So we hop in, press W to insert our blank key. You're going to see that it's definitely not the correct key combination. Uh, but with the key inserted, with that spud gun in place... Oh, it's such a major oversight that I even did this. Uh, you press 4 to extend the spud gun, press 5 to shoot the spud gun. Now we have a valid key, we can just open the door. What a massive oversight for the digital... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I forgot to retract. I forgot to retract the spud gun. There we go. <laughs> what a massive oversight for the digital lock. So if you're building locks in the real world, definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, consider that people are going to stick all kinds of things through the keyhole. Giggity. Now, I actually got a video sent to me of one more way that you can pick a lock. Let's see exactly the secret method of how they did it. It seems like they have a lot of different logic. This is very different than what we've seen before. So I'm a little bit curious, like, what is happening here? They got a laser and everything? A laser key? Alright, alright. What's When's the magic get- Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. That's certainly a way to open a lock, isn't it? Now this is lock picking. <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I had a lot of fun building the lock picks originally. Of course, the link's going to be in the description if you want to check out the original video. Uh, but everybody passed the test. Everybody, uh, you know, mission accomplished. Everybody got the locks open. I, it might have been a little bit easier than I thought it was originally. But hey, this was a lot of fun. I love doing stuff like this. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any other cool ideas for things that you could build? Maybe you have another way of picking these locks? Definitely uh, build it in-game and uh, send me a link. I'd love to see it. But that's really all that I wanted to share with you guys in this video, was just uh, the, the videos and, and stuff sent to me for Pick of the Logs. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.